What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Mass Fin at the request of Babu. I'm still going to call you Babu, my friend. And unless you have a problem with that, then just let me know in the Discord, but I'm, I'm going to call you Babu because that's that's what I know you as, and that's a cool name. Mass Fin for Babu, and we're going to talk about Baba for somebody. I saw it in a comment. I didn't respond to it. I wish I did. But I've got no other stocks to talk about, so I'm going to talk about Baba because I saw it, Alibaba, uh, and I've got no other stocks to talk about, so I don't want to just talk about Massfin by itself. So Massfin for Bob for Babu, and then Baba for someone, whoever you are. This this video is in part for you as well. So hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see this content more often. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not giving the shout out to the Baba person, but. We're gonna do the, the request, and that's that's the main important thing, anyways. From a high to a low, you are respecting this fib, which is nice. You're holding the 618, the golden ratio here, as support, an area that you held as resistance before. Kind of nice. Slipping a little bit right now, but that's okay. It's the beginning of the month. I, I have faith that you'll hold up and come back up. Weak the RSI, very neutral, not really bullish, not really bearish, right? Nothing really to discern from that. Same thing with the daily, although I would say it's more bullish than bearish. So that's kind of nice. That gives me the impression that likely you're probably going to move up soon, right? If you go lower than this low, probably not by too much. If you go lower than this low, does that mean you're going lower? I don't think so, right? Because you've you've gone lower than your lows already. And then you know, and then you were fine. So um Right, you've gone lower than your lows already, and then you were fine. So it's just you're in this consolidation phase. I do think you'll move up, but when you if you were to close below these lows, that's when I would be concerned, right? Because these lows are they're like the the limit lows here, these limit lows here, right? That's if you were to close below there, that's when things change. But as of right now, I would expect you return to the top. You probably return back up to this area. I'm not going to call for you to break through it just yet, but let's call for a move up to about 320 to 330. Okay, you're at three or sorry, 270 to 280 right now. So 320, 330, something like that. That's my expectation. If you break below on any given day, if you close below 273, I think you're moving down. I think you're moving down probably to 220 or lower. Okay, stuff to note. That's Massvin. Let's talk about Baba. Baba. Alibaba. Fun fact, man. Actually, never mind. We'll, we'll continue with the video. Uh, overbought on the daily, looking very strong. Very strong. Volume's dying off. You're not really going anywhere. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Looking at the weekly. Overbought, looking strong. Add an area of resistance, right? You probably pull back a little bit, and that makes sense, right? That's fine. That's okay. Um, overall, a nice move. Volume coming in higher lows, relative higher high here. You could be getting set up for something that's bigger overall, but in the meantime, I think you come down. You're pretty hot on your on your weekly, pretty hot on your daily, right? Falling and dying off, right? You're, you're not moving up, you're chilling. You're, you're, I mean, it's not that you're not moving up, you are moving up, but you're, you're definitely moving up at a slower pace now. You've been in the same area for the past four days, and your weekly, again, is kind of hot. And you are around this resistance point as well, right? Put a line right here. Nope. At the top, right around there. So if you were to move up from here, I'm not saying that you have to turn around from here, but if you were to move up, I bet it's just a little bit like to 122, 125, something like that. If by some miraculous miracle you get above these highs, it's probably going to be just barely above them and you probably find turbulence, right? Um, if not, if you don't get above these highs, if you do what I think you're going to do and you find resistance here, likely you're going to see some kind of standard retracement based off of your, your move that you've made. So I think an, a, a FIB tool is appropriate here from this high to low, maybe. Ooh, not a whole lot of respect. I'm not going to use that one. Let's go on the weekly. Maybe we can find something better, right? Low to high here. I don't know. I'm not confident on this. Ah, oh, man. That's another thing, man. Someone was talking shit in the comments. They're like, if you don't know, then just say it. But it's like, dude, if I don't know, I, I do just say it. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then just say it, man. It was funny because this person was like saying they didn't understand what I was saying. And then they turned around by saying, because they didn't understand what I was saying, they took that to mean that I didn't understand what I was saying. And it's like, 
It's like, I know what I'm saying, man. If I'm confusing you, you don't have to insult me. You don't have to be a prick about it. You can just, you know, you can just ask me. You can just be like, hey, what do you mean by this? But, but uh, a little off topic there. I got, I got off topic because I got caught up literally saying, I don't know where to put this fib right now, right? I know fibs. I've been doing this for eight years, you guys. I know, I know how to do it. It's just, I don't feel completely comfortable. I don't know where to take the low from, man. I'm going to take it from these three lows and we're just going to guess from there. Okay. So, so from this low, this to me would make the most sense off of this. Fib. It would make the most sense. $94 would be the area that I'd expect you to go, but based on the price action, and it's very common to go just below your 382, you could see the price go down to this high at about 90 bucks right there. Right? So that, that kind of makes sense around 90 bucks. However, the 236, which you don't normally expect to hold, but you do expect to hold on a strong move. And this is not, necessar not necessarily expected to hold on a strong move. It's just more likely to hold on a strong move. The most likely is still the 382. The 236 is not likely to happen. But even though it's not likely, it's more likely to happen in a strong move. It's still less likely, even though it's more likely, right? If, if that makes sense. Again, I know what I'm trying to say. I just don't know if, if you know what I'm trying to say when I say that. But um, if not, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Get, getting caught up in semantics. All I'm trying to say is the minimum target we've divulged so far is $90. The kind of upper end of this target, I suppose, would be $102. And that makes sense based off of this fib. Okay, so if we take this next low, right, the target would move, I would say, probably still to $90. $90 and it doesn't really change here either. So that's that's fine. We take this low to high. I wouldn't really throw that on there anymore. I don't know if I would expect the 382 here, and I would probably expect you to hold the 236. So, so it's it's hard to say. It it is really hard to say, um, in my opinion, where you're gonna go. Ooh, this might be a good one. Okay, there we go. It's just as hard to say as it was before, <laughs> because from here you could pull back to your two three six, which which hello, it's right there, or your three eight two, which is right there. So, so that's the range. That's the range. Ninety dollars to one hundred and three dollars is where Alibaba is going to go to. It's at one hundred and thirteen right now, essentially. That's I'm expecting it to pull back a little bit, right? I do think it'll continue onwards afterwards. Uh, it'll probably break out of this zone overall. This does look like an atom. And Eve, it does. It has the look. It's just it might not be ready to break out yet. And whenever it does break out, I think it's going to be phenomenal. I think you'll go above $200. But as of right now, you could be going below $100. Probably not below $90, but anywhere between $90 and $105, I would say, is, is a very likely target to happen. So with that, I leave you. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you all for being here. And, and yeah, that's all I got to say. So bye-bye.